Brothers and sisters, welcome to another edition of Blading for Truth. Ah, quick cut, quick cut. This is not a full podcast. This is not a full video on YouTube. This is a quick cut. Why is this a quick cut? Well, I got some good news and bad news. This quick cut, YouTube specific content. This is what you will be getting from me from now on, on 1650 on the YouTube side. You will get a full podcast, Blading for Truth, episode, number, creative title, (laughs) on certain weeks. That will be exclusively on Apple Podcasts and Spreaker.com. The long one, the long show that I do. From now on, YouTube, tons of fun, WWE, 1650 PWAM, this is where my quick cuts will go, and only quick cuts there will be from Jeff Edwards, Blading for Truth. Why? I will get into the reasons why in just a minute. But quite frankly, my, my, kind of, my, my tease explanation would be, I watched Raw... I watched SmackDown. As I record, it is Tuesday, 10.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, my brothers and sisters, which means I just stomached myself. I I grabbed all my guts, all my insides in my stomach, and I held them in my stomach for fear of puking because I just finished SmackDown. I put myself through five hours of crap yet again this week and shit has to change the wwe just ain't for me anymore i tried guys i tried i tried and i know you need me you still need me to tell you the truth about wrestling and that's exactly what i'm going to do on my quick cuts but from now on I will no longer be wasting my time on this stuff. I am not going to be watching five hours of solid WWE programming anymore, and I am not going to be commenting on five hours of WWE programming anymore. The last thing that you will get for for a show review, for a Raw review, and a SmackDown review is over on Apple Podcasts, iTunes, and Spreaker.com. That will be coming to you shortly. If it's not out already by the time you watch this video. Here's why. Formulas. I sat down and suffered through Raw. With the hopes. With the hopes that SmackDown would be as good as it's been. This is what I get from SmackDown tonight. The open of the show is as follows. Kevin Owens highlight reel. His guest is Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke says two words. Out comes Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin starts jawing like a two-year-old, calling Kevin Owens Cartman. And then Sami Zayn comes out and makes the save as the two heels beat up Shinsuke Nakamura. Guess what happens? A tag team match right now. Does that sound familiar? Does it sound familiar? Just, it should, because 24 hours prior to this, this was the opening of Raw. Miz TV equals Kevin Owens highlight reel. Sheamus and Cesaro as his special guests equal Shinsuke Nakamura. Dean Ambrose comes out and interrupts equals Baron Corbin. He has backup, the Hardys equal Sami Zayn. There's a six-man tag team match to kick off Raw right now. If you really need me to tell you that this is bad and lazy and you can't see it for yourself and you can't process the information on the screen or you can't remember what you just watched 24 hours prior to watching SmackDown, I can't help you. You have to do this for yourself, brothers and sisters. This is bad. Turn it off. It's lazy. They're disrespecting any kind of audience that's that's attempting to to tune into wrestling that normally doesn't watch wrestling. Any casual fan that's clicking that on is going to click it right off. 
There's no story. There is no story. It is guy, character A, character B, character C, character D. They all wrestle. That's the formula of Raw and SmackDown. That's the formula of WWE in 2017. Why is this show called Vince is Trolling Vince? I will tell you why it's called Vince Trolls Vince. Correction. Vince Trolls Vince. Because I have a theory and an explanation to why, in addition to the opens of Raw and SmackDown, they put out the worst angle, the worst segment on Raw in WWE history. That's saying a lot. It is saying a lot, but the way they did it, I have a conspiracy to why they did it. And you know what I'm talking about. I'm referencing This Is Your Life, Bailey, from Alexa Bliss. They purposely took the highest rated segment in Raw history, which was Mick Foley. This Is Your Life, Rock. The Rock and Sock connection. There was a story to it. Mankind was willingly going to play the sidekick role for The Rock in the tag team. He just wanted to be a part of it. When you purposely take the highest rated segment that your show has done and purposely take a shit on it and purposely take a shit on the worker that's been getting over and you expect her to get this over, I don't know why you're doing it. You're obviously telling me I'm wasting my time because you're going to take 15 minutes of your main show and you're going to do a troll job on Vince Russo. Why do I say this? I'm a Vince Russo listener. I am not a member of his brand, his, uh, his pay service. He charges, I don't know, something ridiculous like 10 cents a week if you become a brand member. Yeah, go ahead. Waste your money. Go 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 to Meltzer and pay $10, okay? But Vince charges about 10 cents per show. The guy, I don't know. I I don't do the brand gimmick. But what I do do is I go to podcast 1 and I get his daily podcasts for free. Okay? I listen to the guy. I do. Why do I listen to the guy? Why do I hold the guy in such a high regard? Facts. This is the biggest fact in pro wrestling. You, you can be out there. You could be a fan. You could take a shit on Vince Russo. You could say whatever you want. But the fact remains, he was on the writing staff. He and Ed were writing raw when it was drawing the highest numbers in history. So for you to be a 21-year-old snot-nosed brat and call out Vince Russo just for fun on Twitter and just bash the shit out of the guy like he's not relevant anymore. I got news for you, kid. Just because you weren't alive for it doesn't mean it didn't happen. You could talk about American history because that's how you act because you're in that you're in that bubble of 21 to 28. Because it seems like you can't get things into your thick skull. You would just rather close your eyes to truth, okay? And the truth about professional wrestling, and that, and that goes for everything. That goes for politics. It goes for sports. You know, you, you got this LeBron. LeBron's better than Michael Jordan. Well, I wasn't alive to see Michael Jordan, but so I have to go with LeBron because LeBron's the best because I'm growing up watching LeBron, okay? It doesn't make it true. Same thing applies to, to wrestling, same thing applies to politics, like I said. Same thing applies to American history. Same thing applies to race. Same thing applies to, to cultural backgrounds. Same thing applies to same thing, okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? If you call yourself a wrestling fan and you're destroying Vince Russo on social media because you weren't alive to see the Attitude Era, you have a problem with yourself because the numbers don't lie. Why is this show called Vince Trolls Vince? And for the record, by the way, I do know some young people that are very smart, know their history. That's what I'm asking everyone else to do. And this is the reason I'm doing this podcast right now. Know your history, people. Getting back on point. Vince Trolls Vince. As I said, I'm a listener to Vince Russo. May 18th. May 18th. This is going back, what, 10 days already? What is today? Tuesday, May 30th. Okay, so this is going about 12 days. I don't know when Russo recorded this podcast. Sometimes he speaks and he'll put a podcast out late 
as opposed to his brand on YouTube or his brand on his website. So I'm assuming this podcast was probably recorded on the 16th, the 17th, because it aired on podcast one, the 18th. Okay. This is why I say Vince is trolling Vince. McMahon is trolling Russo. What you're about to hear is a clip from Vin, one of Vince Russo's podcasts from May 18th. Okay. He's explaining television. He's explaining what I like to call, he doesn't call it that this, but I like to call 30-year cycles. You could see 30-year cycles in pop culture all over the place. You could see 30-year cycles in music. You could see 30-year cycles in cinema. It happens. And what Vince is going to talk about here is a 30-year cycle, specifically in pro wrestling. And he's going to compare it to television. Okay, so I saw this dirt sheet report that Vince Russo is begging Vince McMahon for a job. I saw it all over my Twitter feed. I saw people destroying him. But again, it's a drop quote from one of a, one of his podcasts, and they're basically turning it around and making him look like a complete douchebag. And the rest of the social media world, pro wrestling media, pro wrestling fans are just falling in like they do because they can't think for themselves. This is a clip from Vince Russo explaining exactly what he would like to do and what he apparently did. And I'm going to play the clip. It's from Vince Russo, the brand on podcast one. And I'll see you on the other side to explain more on my explanation as to why formulas and ratings have pushed me to hit a reset button of my very own. Here's the quote from Vince Russo. And quite frankly, bro, I am sick and tired of hearing people like Triple H say it's a different time. Yeah, bro, we know it's a different time, but it's a different time for Roseanne. It's a different time for 24. It's a different time for the X-Files. It's a different time for Will and Grace. It's a different time. But why can't we reboot the Attitude Era in a different way? And you know what, bro? I am not going to give that away here, but I'm going to tell you why they don't do it. They don't do it because they don't know how to do it. It's real simple. Vince Russo and Ed Ferrara wrote the Attitude Era. Not Vince McMahon, not Triple H, not Stephanie McMahon. They have no clue of what that formula was, which is why you see today's product. I know what the formula was. Ed Ferrara knows what the formula was. And I made the decision, bro. I am going to write a one-page treatment, and I am going to send it to the appropriate people at the WWE. Vince Russo is a douchebag for wanting to write a good wrestling show. Okay, first thing, all you Twitter smarks out there that hate Russo because you're too young to remember how great the Attitude Era was and how entertaining it was every Monday night and how you would get with your buddies and you would have house full of people and you would have college dorms full of friends watching the Monday Night Wars. Just because you don't remember that doesn't mean it wasn't good and doesn't mean it didn't happen. Okay, that's number one. Number two, He's doing exactly what you do on Twitter every week. I have a podcast. I'm rewriting Raw every week. I'm changing the formula. I'm begging for them to do something entertaining. And so are you on on Twitter. So are you on Facebook. You'll put the tweet out, but, but Vince Russo, who actually has, actually has legitimate, <laughs> legitimate, credentials to back up his opinion which i don't i don't have legit credentials i've taken a creative writing class i know how to work things around on certain creative uh media outlets okay but i'm not a writer and either are you facebook twitter guy that wants to destroy russo and call him a douchebag okay that's number two number three what and this is my point to doing this show the way I did. What has happened since May 18th, 17th, 16th, depending on the date that that was recorded, that clip, what has happened on Raw? Here's where my conspiracy theory comes in. Vince trolls Vince. The girls are in a kendo stick on a pole match. This Monday night, Bailey, this is your life. Two parts to this. If you don't think Vince McMahon either heard that podcast or Triple H didn't receive an email with a one page treatment to a reboot to the Attitude Era in 2017 from Vince Russo, if you don't think that they got that, 
then where is kendo stick on a pole match coming in and where is bailey this is your life coming in they just what just coincidence just coincidence okay that's the first thing now you might listen to this and you might think it's funny you might think it's funny that the wwe raw creative staff which is vince mcmahon let's be honest you might think that's funny that he's doing an on-air troll job, okay? But let me ask you something. The segment was about, I don't know, 14 minutes long. And it was the worst segment in WWE Raw history. You have a worker that's been getting herself over week after week after week, and you put her in that mess with the teacher, with the best friend, with the ex-boyfriend. And what was the result of that? The payoff was exactly the same payoff as last week, which was exactly the same payoff as the week before. Last week, it was Mickey getting the kendo stick and Bailey making the save. This week, it was Bailey getting the kendo stick. Two weeks ago, it was Bailey getting the kendo stick. So exactly what was the point of this? The point of it was to troll Vince Russo. So not only did they do that and take a shit on the highest rated segment that he wrote in Raw history, they did it to take a shit on you, the fan. Because they're, they're valuing their television time enough to just not worry about you watching it, to not worry about me watching it as a fan, to not worry about casual fans coming in to turn it on and hopefully they stay. Not the crowd in the arena that who was taking a shit all over the segment, which they should have. They decided to take that time, waste it on a troll job, and tell you as a fan, this is what concerns me right now. Not you, not putting on a good product, putting out shit for Alexa Bliss to try to get over? Come on. They took that time, they wasted Alexa's time, Bailey's time, all our times, and the three actors that they hired, they wasted the entire time just to do a troll job. And guess who suffers for it? Us. We suffer for it. Guess who else is going to suffer for it? They will. This is the problem with the WWE. Their ratings are tanking. Tanking. Memorial Day, 8 o'clock. You think any, everybody's home? They have work the next day. Of course they're home. Put on a good show. But instead, they willingly wrote something to take a dump on their highest rated segment ever be, because they want to do a troll job on Vince Russo. That's my theory. That's my theory. If you agree, if I'm making sense to you, put it down in the comments. If I'm not making sense to you, Put it down in the comments and tell me why. Oh, I hope I, I hope I get you, 25-year-old. Go ahead. Go ahead, 25. Put something down in the comments so I can blast you for not knowing your history. Go ahead. Put something down there. Go ahead. 26. 26 know-it-all smart. Go ahead. Put it down there. There you. Waste of time. And you know what? I get the message. I get the message loud and clear. So this is what's going to happen. The message has been received, Vince McMahon. You would rather, and Triple H and Stephanie, you would rather troll the one-page write-up that Vince Russo sent you to try and save your product. The message I get loud and clear is, we're going to waste your time, Edwards. Don't watch our show anymore. So this is what I'm going to do. Henceforth, I will be choosing some topic in the wrestling world and i will pull a quick cut video for you on youtube weekly my podcast however the one that's either out now or about to come out that's th this is it this is the last episode i'm doing it i'm gonna review raw i'm gonna review smackdown now it might take me a week to gather something up here okay but the audio podcast will be drastically different from here on out. I will go back to what I was doing before my pals here talked me into doing the pro wrestling and more. Well, guess what? And I know AC's in the same boat as I am, man. 
I know it. I know it. Because if you're paying attention to his show, it's about uh, a little sliver of pro wrestling. And then it's the rest of his show, which is fantastic, by the way. Whatever he talks about, fighting, sports, uh, football, baseball, whatever. And to be quite honest, Joe White doesn't sound too happy with the WWE either lately. So guess what? Bleeding for Truth will be an and more podcast in order to listen to that. Apple iTunes, Apple Podcasts now, I guess they've officially rebranded. What you want to do is go open your iTunes, search the podcasts, 1650 Pro Wrestling and more, 1650 PWAM or Blading for Truth. That'll get you, you know, you'll follow the uh, the line to get to all my shows. Um, also, Spreaker. And listen, I, there's a fear out there. There's a... There's a lack of knowledge about what Spreaker is. What Spreaker is, it's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R, like a speaker, except Spreaker, okay? That's a podcast website. I use it, quite frankly, all the time because when I am mobile, I have an Android phone, okay? It is a pain in the balls to for me because of how I listen to podcasts. I am not the guy that will go on iTunes, download the podcast, put it on my iPod, okay? I'm not that guy. What I do is I turn my mobile on or turn a tablet on and listen to a podcast. This is perfect if you are not an Apple user. What it is is you go to Spreaker.com, go to 1650 PWAM, Pro Wrestling and more, and you can stream it right from your browser. You don't even have to sign up. You don't have to do anything. It will not infect your device. It is just a little known uh, podcasting website that a lot of you don't know. A lot of wrestling uh, podcasts don't use it. So what I like to do is go to the Play Store on my Android phone, and I like to, I, I went once to, uh, to, to Spreaker, I typed it in the search bar, and guess what came up? A nice, handy little app for free, not big, not a big file size. I downloaded that sucker, and what I do is I go to 1650PWAM, and all our shows are there. And here's the beauty of it. Right now, it's just uh, Blading for Truth and Cool Down with AC until we get more uh, more podcasts on board. What you can do is download that sucker, go to 1650PWAM, go to Blading for Truth, which will be the newest show up, and you can press play. Now, here's the beauty, okay? You're doing something in the house, you're cutting your grass, whatever. It's going to take you longer than that episode. What do I do? You don't do anything. Play the episode. It will automatically play the next episode for you. And then once once that's finished, it'll automatically play the third episode for you. It's a beautiful app, Spreaker.com. Don't fear it. But if you are an Apple user, iTunes, 1650 PWAM. So that is the big explanation. Go check out Blading for Truth, the podcast. For now, this is the quick cut, Vince Trolls Vince. If you agree or disagree with me, even if you disagree, I won't bite your head off unless you bite my head off. Put it down in the comments. Like it. Subscribe to the channel. I will catch you next time. Blading for Truth, quick cut. I'm Jeff Edwards. You're my best friend, really. I am the fucking villain.